What is up guys? Welcome back to a new video and this is probably one of the most crazy, insane, most enthusiastic videos ever. I'm so excited right now because I have been working on this project for about 7 or 8 hours now and it's almost done. Let me start off with the small things that I did. Um, like I said, I ordered a carbon fiber sheet, so I made some small little parts and then I, I lost a C-clip, so I just put a bead of hot glue, hot glue on there temporarily. Uh, that will be replaced, of course. Carbon fiber. Then, under the body, we have, it's kind of a mess here, but I'll show you why. The whole battery tray is carbon fiber. The, um, remember the plate that I had here, it was kind of looking a little bit unprofessional, so I made a carbon fiber plate. Now also, I got this heat sink from Hobby King, fits on the motor, very nice, not gonna go anywhere, looks very cool, and it also has a very good function. Now, the most important part here, guys, look at at the wing. I told you that I, was going, that I was going to make an automatic wing for the Rustler and I'm sorry there you go it is almost done the mechanism for to operate the uh, spoiler is done um, but we only need like a, um, some kind of harness splitting harness so that this spoiler responds to throttle inputs um, instead of steering inputs because I can control it with the uh, channel 1 steering because there are two channel 1's um, but that of course um, is not what we want so let me just show you the mechanism like that there is I'll just pull off the body look at that there is a micro servo it's a 1.5 kilogram servo under there there is um, a very small servo arm with a steel wire connected to a um, airplane, how do you call that, um, hinge thing, I mean a, a horn. And um, now for hinging on the spoiler, which is made out of 100% carbon fiber, uh, it's a carbon fiber sheet, um, 1.5 millimeters thick. And um, for hinging, I used a blender tape. It's a special hinging tape. It's very flexible and very strong. I've tested it now with a few um, pre-production models, <laughs> if that's, uh, what do we call it, like prototypes. And uh, it is very strong, it works very well. And I will be using that, um, I think. Now, the micro servo is simply attached with some double-sided tape and this is not just any double-sided tape this is some kind of special double-sided tape it um, has some some kind of glue on there instead of like sticky tape stuff wow so um some kind of glue and um you have to wait a few minutes before you install it so that it dries a little bit so and i must say this servo is not going to go anywhere that is super strong. Now, the wire is way too short to go in the receiver, so I have to put the I'll put the body next to the car. I'll plug it in the channel one receiver so I can control it with the servo. I mean steering inputs, and then I'll show you how it works. Guys, I have plugged it in into the channel one slot, and I pulled out my servo, um, so it doesn't you know um, work as well. Then I plugged in the battery, turned on the ESC, remote is on as well, and now watch what happens when I pull the steering wheel, turn the steering wheel. So, we're gonna make it. We're gonna get some kind of harness or something, just so we can tr uh, so the so that the throttle works um, with 
this servo and there is a way to do that and well we'll just have to find out how my dad knows how this works um, so we're gonna do that pretty soon I think um, so we're gonna um, so what happens is when I pull the uh, trigger once we have done all that what we want is it to go like this so there's so it is horizontal like that perfect so there's minimum drag and um, not that much downforce for maximum speed. And once we release the throttle and apply the brake, this is what we want. We want it to go up like that. And I, kind of, I really like the angle of it. It's perfect. Let's take a look at the mechanism. And I must say that this mechanism is super strong. I mean, if you put a finger on it and try to stop it, it'll lift the body. I mean, that's not going to go anywhere and that will be able to handle winds like 70 mile an hour winds, no problem. And I'm super stoked about it, guys. And yes, I made a little cut in the body right there so that the servo horn can go through. It's insane, and like I said, full carbon fiber, very lightweight design, yet very strong. So yeah guys, that was it. Of course I will make an update video once everything is done, uh, because there are still a few small things that have to be done, like the server wire and everything. Um, so yeah guys, thanks for watching, I really hope you like it, and um, by the way, the servo is very fast. very fast. So yeah guys, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, because this is the only channel on YouTube where you'll find a wrestler with an automated, automated wing. So yeah guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!